This is our life right now. It's green tea. Ew, I just popped it. Look at the little froggy. Oh, he fell. I'm sure someone's died here before, but it won't be us. It's like, hard, but it's really worth it. We're starting off the vlog in the car on our way to Maine again. It's been two years. It does not feel like it's been two years, but it has. We're going up there for our first year anniversary. It's an eight hour drive. Still drive for the first half. I'll drive for the second. When the next best thing comes up and we want to tell you, then you'll see us again. So what did you think of the first leg of the trip? It wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad? But it's starting to get mountainous now. When we started it was flat, now it's very hilly. And then we'll be in the mountain. We're about to get some Wendy's. Um, I drove for the first leg of the trip and it was honestly miserable, especially when we got into New Jersey and New York City. If you've ever driven through any part of New York City, you know what I'm talking about. But we're through it now and we're about to get ready, so things are looking up. Date. I think the last thing I said on camera was that things are looking up. Um, <laughs> we finish our meal, we get back in the car, and we were in this teeny tiny little New England town, and it was all hilly, and we were trying to figure out how to get gas, and we took a wrong turn, and it was everything was so tight, it was just, it was rough. And now we are back on the highway, and there is a slowdown caused by a car crash. Listen, every slowdown or traffic jam we've been in today has only been like 20, 30 minutes tops. This slowdown is over an hour and 15 minutes long. We are about like two and a half to three hours behind schedule because of all these traffic jams and crashes and slowdowns. Now, these plans might change, but right now the plan is that the first day we're up there, we're gonna go see this famous lighthouse the Nubble Lighthouse and the second day we're gonna go back to the same lake that we went to the first time we went to Maine which is Sabago Lake. The last full day that we're in Maine we're gonna drive up to Baxter State Park and hike up this mountain. If we ever make it we will update you but it'll probably be really late by the time we get there so yeah we'll keep you posted. Do you see this? This is our life right now. Did it pull over? Yeah. That bus that I just showed you guys, never seen a bus that looks like that. Like, I've never heard of that brand, never seen that coloring on a bus. So we know it's the same bus, is what I'm trying to say. And it's been ahead of us, literally, over an hour now, like an hour and a half on this road. And it's just flying, like, full disclosure, Elijah's going very swiftly down this highway. And this bus is still pulling away, like. Like it always pops up in the randomest spot. First it'll be in this lane, then it'll show up in that lane. It's coming off of random ramps, on ramps, off ramps. <laughs> like you theorize that it's the Magic School Bus rebranded. But yeah, then literally as soon as I started filming it, it like slowed down and stopped. So I don't know what's up with that. Welcome to Maine. Yay! We made it.
you're like, I'm gonna build a house, and then you build a house, and you're like, so it's like further. So, I think the last time we updated you, we had just gone to Walmart, and shortly after that video was taken, we decided, by we, I mean we, decided that we should go back in and get camping chairs. Originally, when we planned this whole anniversary trip, we were thinking of going to the lighthouse on the first day, Sabago Lake on the second day, and Baxter State Park on the third day. But then we went to the lighthouse this morning and we were done and dusted by noon, so we were like, why not just drive to Sabago today, which is about two hours away. So it's not like it was just up the street or anything, but we're like, you know what, let's just do it. So we got these camping chairs, we drove up here, Today we're just going to chill and tomorrow we're going to come back and hike. Um, yeah, so now we're just sitting here in our camping chairs <laughs> at the beach. It's extraordinarily windy today. I'm not sure why, um, but I don't mind. I mean, it's not cold really, it's just the wind, but I just had to put on hoodie and my leggings. So, I'm supposed to be warm. So we're back at Sabago. It's the next day. And yesterday we just came here to chill. But today we are going to do some serious hiking. And I'm so excited. Are you excited? Yeah. I'm really excited. <laughs> we did go to Goodwill because I like thrifting. And I think it's fascinating to go thrifting in other states so you can see how styles and fashions change depending on where you're at. So first we have a t-shirt from originally from Rue 21. It says I'm fine. Six dollars. I got this silk shirt from Christy and Jill. Not sure what that brand is. I've never heard of that before. This is like one of my favorite colors and I love the texture. I love silk shirts. This was also six dollars. Then I got just a plain jean it's a denim shirt, but I might just wear it like a jacket because if you've ever seen The Parent Trap, the 1998 version, and you know who Chessie is, then you know. You know. Um, so yeah, I might wear it like Chessie. And this is also $6. It's originally from The Gap, so you already know that this would definitely be at least triple, if not more, if I bought it from The Gap. The best piece that I found today and also the cheapest piece that I bought. These pants. What are you doing? Trying to get some tea. Here, let me get it for you. They're corduroy. They're from Talbot's. That $90 pair of jeans I have. 
tall bits. So you can only imagine what these would be if I bought them new from Talbots. They're corduroy. I think they're like a really, really dark green color, but they might show up black. They kind of look show up black in certain lights, but I think it's actually like really, really dark green. And they fit me perfectly. They were 50% off. Five dollars. Isn't that crazy? So excited to wear these. I might actually wear this shirt when we drive home because this will definitely describe how I will be feeling when we drive through Newark and New York. Look how quiet it is up here. All you hear is just the birds and the bugs. You don't hear cars, you don't hear planes. It's nice. This is voiceover Hannah from the editing chair, um, realizing that I did not give any context as to what happened after we went hiking at Zabaga Lake. Um, so we got ice cream at this place called the Mosquito in Raymond, and then we decided to head north to our final destination of the trip, which was, I believe, about three to four hours away from where we were, um, literally into the middle of nowhere in Maine, in the wilderness. Um, it's called it's called Baxter State Park, and it was just literally in the middle of nowhere. So this is us driving, and yeah, I believe we pick it up the following day when we set out to hike Katahdin. I look like I've been sleeping in a car for the past three days. Good morning, everyone. We, surprise, are on the road again. I don't think we've updated you since we were at Zabago yesterday. Well, now we are three to four hours away from there. Up north. Look! Pretty! I don't know what all those logs in the water are. Stop! Why did they chop it down? to go climb a mountain. Never done a hike this strenuous before. Okay, well, maybe we kind of have on our honeymoon because long story short, we basically like speed ran the steepest trail on the mountain at Deep Creek Lake State Park. It's more like a hill compared to this one though. So on their website, they have like previews not previews but like summaries of what you can expect on the trail and one of the ones literally said people have died and been seriously injured on this trail i don't think we're 
we're doing that one. Um, but just to give you an idea of like what we're dealing with exactly. But we'll take pictures and videos and show you guys how pretty it is because hopefully if we make it to the top there will be like a little scenic outlook or something. And some big rocks. My hairstyle is falling out. But this is fun. I like this. This feels like life. Because it's kind of like how... Look at the little froggy! Oh, he fell. He's okay. Um, it kind of feels like life. Because sometimes you walk up a couple steps that's really steep. And then you catch your breath. And then you walk up a couple more steps, it's still steep. You catch your breath. And you look up ahead, and it looks really steep. It doesn't look steep on camera, but it looks steep in real life. And you feel overwhelmed. And then sometimes you get some flat parts that aren't as steep, where you can kind of catch your breath. Yeah, life is like that. Life's beautiful out here. And we legitimately cannot hear any sound of civilization. No cars, no planes, no boats, no people. Just the rushing water and the birds. It's really nice, actually. <laughs> Here we are. We're what, three miles in? Something like that. We're three miles plus one mile. So we've done four miles straight up. Down there, it's like straight up almost. We're, we're trekking along. Yeah, we're kind of starting to be able to see some of the, the mountain range through the trees. There's a lot of peaks on this particular mountain and this particular mountain, Cotadin Mountain, is the tallest mountain in the state of Maine. We are climbing Baxter Peak on Cotadin Mountain. We're doing the one that was right under the one that said that people died on it. We're doing the one, one level below that one. I'm sure someone's died here before, but it won't be us. We're, we're going strong. We'll let you know when we see something cool. Y'all, we're not kidding. We were saying we're climbing a mountain. Like, legitimately. hard but it's really worth it look at all that and we came from down there and we still have all that to go mountain we're not to the top yet but we're pretty high up yeah guys we're legitimately on a mountain now like look there's no trees hardly look at all literally that just rocks. i we, really didn't think we would get this far we were literally climbing on a cliff almost. it was like straight up like vertical at some point and yeah it's windy show them how much farther we had to go we have to go way 
up there. It doesn't look as far on camera. Yeah, it is far. Yeah. But we're more than halfway. Yeah, definitely. We're at least... I'd say we're at least like three quarters of the way. Yeah. We got this. We'll show you what the top looks like. happy. Yeah. We want to come back and do it again. Someday. Yeah, come back and go all the way up there next time. We made it. That was the hardest hike I've ever done. Yeah, that was the single most difficult physical thing that I've ever done in my life. Every muscle my arms, my feet, my legs. It's not just, oh, I'm gonna feel it tomorrow. No, I feel it now, and I will feel it likely for the next couple of weeks. I never knew I had so many muscles that could be sore at the same time. I am impressed with my own body to pull off that feet. All the way down, it was just brutal. I would recommend you do it at least once in your life, but we're probably not gonna do this for at least a few weeks, maybe a few hours. Okay, now it's time for us to go home.